All right, here we go. Question number three from our uh, college algebra homework number two in my lab math. We've got f of x is x plus three, g of x is two x squared minus five x minus three, and they want us to find f circle g of x. So up here in our little window, let's get started. We're going to look for f circle g of x. And the first thing you want to do is you want to rewrite that using nested parentheses. So nested parentheses, it means parentheses inside parentheses. And then we're going to plug and play from the inside out. Plug in the entire function g of x. All of this stuff is going to plug into the x in f of x. And so what that's going to give me, that's going to give me 2x squared minus 5x minus 3, all of that plus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 cancel. And the final answer, 2x squared minus 5x. And we're going to check and see if that's right. 2x squared minus 5x. Yes. They also want the domain. Now since the composition is a polynomial and the original functions were polynomial, that means that there's not going to be any restriction on f circle g, which means the domain is going to be all real numbers. And the way that you say all real numbers in interval notation is you say, hey, that's everything from minus infinity to infinity. It's just everything. Great. All right, now they want us to do it backwards. So now we're going to do g circle f of x. And we're going to rewrite that using nested parentheses. And then plug and play from the inside out. So now you can see that all of f of x is going to plug into g of x. All right, so what is that going to look like? That's going to say all of f of x plugged into every x of g of x. So this x and this x are going to get replaced with x plus 3. All right, so here's what that's going to look like. That's going to be 2 times x plus 3. That has to be squared because the x that we plugged into was squared. Minus 5 times x. That's going to be minus 5 times x plus 3. And minus 3. And then we're going to have to work all of that out. And it's going to take a little bit, all right? So be patient. Here we go. 2 times. Now, since the x plus 3 is squared, that means it's going to be x plus 3 times itself. And that's going to indicate the FOIL method. Uh-oh, we're going to have to F it up. We're going to FOIL it up. And the negative 5 can distribute negative 5x minus 15. And the minus 3 comes down. All right, next step. x plus 3, doing the FOIL method. First, x times x. x squared. On the outside, 3 times x. On the inside, another 3 times x. Last but not least, 3 times 3. Minus 5x comes down. And let's go ahead and combine. Negative 15 and negative 3, 5, 6, that's negative 18. And then we're going to combine like terms. So inside the parentheses here, we've got x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 5x minus 18. And then the 2 can distribute. So that's going to give us 2x squared plus 12x plus 18 minus 5x minus 18. And for the grand finale, we're going to combine like terms one more time.
giving us 2x squared. Uh, plus 18, minus 18, those cancel. 12x minus 5x. 12 minus 5 is 7. Plus 7x. And that should be our final answer. Let's check and see if that's right. 2x squared plus 7x. Fingers crossed. Bam. And the domain. Again, since everything is polynomial, there are no restrictions. So the domain, again, is all real numbers. Negative infinity to infinity. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.